Hello students, in this video we'll see an example of finding and classifying the critical points of a function of two variables. Let's consider f of xy is x squared minus xy plus y cubed over 3. Let's find and classify the critical points. So to find the critical points, we compute the gradient of f. The gradient of f is 2x minus y. And then the y derivative will be a negative x plus y squared. We set the gradient equal to 0. And each component of the gradient has to be 0. So 2x minus y is equal to 0. And negative x plus y squared is equal to 0. The first equation tells me that y is equal to 2x. The second equation tells me that x is equal to y squared. Now, I know that y is equal to 2x. So I can substitute the value y equals 2x into this equation down here. If I do so, this will tell me that x is equal to y squared, which is 2x squared. Therefore, we have x is equal to 4x squared. And we can cancel out, we can either conclude from this that x equals 0, so x is equal to 0. Or by canceling on x, we get that x is equal to 1 half. So let's cancel out the x. And so if we do that, we'll have 4x is equal to 1. So x is equal to 1 quarter, not 1 half. So we have 1 quarter for x, or x equals 0. So our critical points are what? If x is equal to 0, if x is equal to 0, then that says that y is equal to 0. So we have a critical point of 0, 0. That's one critical point. And if x is equal to 1 quarter, then that says that y is equal to 2 times 1 quarter. And that is 1 half. That's what I was thinking of from earlier. So we have the critical point 1 quarter, 1 half. Now we need to classify these critical points. To classify these critical points, we compute the Hessian of this function. So what's the Hessian of this function? The Hessian of the function f is the matrix of second derivatives, fxx, fxy, fyx, and fyy. We know that these two off-diagonal terms will be equal by the equality of mixed partial derivatives. So let's compute. So fxx is going to be the x derivative of this term over here, which is fx, and this is my fy. And so fxx is going to be 2. fxy is going to be negative 1. fyx is also going to be negative 1. And fyy is going to be a 2y. Now we look at the Hessian at each of our critical points. The Hessian of f at 0, 0, I'm going to plug in x equals 0 and y equals 0. Well, there's no x's in this Hessian. There's only a y. So the Hessian at 0, 0 will be a 2, negative 1, negative 1, and then a 0. To classify the critical points, we need to find the eigenvalues of the Hessian matrix. So we compute determinant of 2 minus lambda, negative 1, negative 1, negative lambda, and set this equal to 0. So our characteristic equation will be, if I cross multiply, I have negative lambda times negative lambda. That's lambda squared. I'll have negative lambda times 2. That's negative 2 lambda. And then minus minus 1. So let's count the minuses. I have a minus from the off diagonal, and two minuses, a total of a 1 minus. So I'll have a minus 1 is equal to 0. So we know what the roots of this are. We can use the quadratic formula to conclude that lambda is equal to 2 plus or minus the square root of 4. And then it's going to turn into a plus 4 over 2. And so it looks like, there I can pull out a root 2 from that. So lambda is equal to 2 plus or minus 2 square root 2 over 2. So that's lambda is equal to, the two cancel out, 1 plus or minus root 2. One of these is positive and one is negative. So I have a positive and a negative. So 0, 0 is going to be a saddle. So lambda 1 is positive, lambda 2 is negative. So if they alternate signs, if one eigenvalue is positive and one eigenvalue is negative, you have a saddle. Let's look at the Hessian at the other critical point. So the Hessian at the, at the point 1 quarter, the Hessian of f at 1 quarter for x, 1 half for y, is going to be 2, negative 1, negative 1. And when I plug in y equals 1 half, this becomes a 1 over here. Again, let's find the eigenvalue. So let's compute determinant 
of 2 minus lambda, negative 1, negative 1, 1 minus lambda, and set that equal to 0. So we're going to have a, let's multiply this out, we'll have a lambda minus 1 times a lambda minus 2, and then again a minus 1 equals 0. This is lambda squared minus 3 lambda, that would be a plus 2 minus 1, so plus 2 minus 1 is going to be a plus 1 equals 0. And let's use the quadratic formula to write out what the roots of this are. The roots of this are lambda is equal to what? 3 plus or minus the square root of what? The square root of 9 minus 4, all divided by, all divided by 2. So this is going to be, lambda is going to be 3 plus or minus the square root of 5 over 2. Both of these eigenvalues, 3 plus root 5 is definitely positive, and 3 minus root 5 is also positive. 3 minus root 5 is positive because root 5 is a smaller number than root 9, and root 9 is 3. So 3 minus root 5 is positive. Think for a minute, think if you can convince yourself of that. So both of these eigenvalues are positive numbers, and so if we have two positive eigenvalues, that corresponds to what? Think back to the first derivative test. If we looked in the function of one variable and you had the second derivative test, the second derivative test said if the second derivative was positive, you have a local minimum. The same is true. If both eigenvalues are positive, you have a local min. So over here at this point, one quarter, one half, this point is a local min. So the point one quarter, one half is a local min, and the point zero, zero is a local saddle. Thank you very much.